and welcome to Planet Plipcam. You are watching episode 4 of my Catacat Viking Park on Planet Coaster Console. This episode really has everything. We are going to be building the gates to Valhalla for this new area of my park. We're adding the statue gods from a previous episode. We're also adding some uh, foliage and building a Thor's hammer. So a bit of everything, using lots of basic shapes and some obscure pieces. And this is really going to create a tranquil, but also a pressing kind of environment. And it's got two tones to this environment, which I really do like. And you'll see that later in the video with all of the lighting. Just quickly, if you do enjoy this video, please do leave it a like as that really helps me out. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this series, my other series on Planet Coaster Console, or general tutorials and showcases. So hopefully you can learn something from this episode, maybe taking some inspiration from some of my foliage and waterfalls. And uh, you've just seen some time lapse of the basis of that um, section of the nature there. So we move into this Thor's hammer. Now I've used lots and lots of basic shapes for this one. Also using the new DLC's uh, really nice ornate panels here. And I've had to trim off the hammer so it has some nice clean cut edges. It was really difficult to do that with all of the squares, but rotating them uh, took a long time, but it worked out in the end. I had to make the top for the hammer. I used that again with squares, and then it was next on to doing the handle of the hammer. So for the handle, I used these cylinder shapes. The one problem that I have with the cylinders and the basic shapes in general is sometimes they're a bit too shiny which is a shame, but uh, you don't really get the variation of pieces in Planet Coaster in anywhere else in the menus, so you have to use those. I've also used a big uh, circle just for the bottom. I placed that on and then I've tried to trim, trim it all up with some of the panels, sunk them down, colored them black and used them to make some lines in the, in the Thor's hammer. I've done that on both sides, as you can see, just colouring it black. And I do really like the size of this hammer. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, yes, it is bigger than the gods that we placed in a previous episode, but um, I think it turned out really nicely. So one thing that did take me a while for this little build was certainly the little, almost, I'm not sure too what to call them, but they're like rungs in the handle, the little grip pieces. I've had to double up some of the rounded pieces because obviously you can't get um, the perfect size to go around a cylinder shape that you already have. So I've angled them and then grouped them and then placed them as we go up the cylinder. I've also done a little handle and some uh, string kind of attachment, leather maybe, that Thor has uh, just to have it nicely attached to his wrist. I haven't copped, copied many uh, Nordic kind of posters. These have all gone around the uh, Marvel kind of pictures. So this time I must not make the mistake of going over the time-lapse kind of videos and I must get into the real section quick. So here we go, it's coming up right now. So this is the real-time section of the video. We're going to have a look at the finished product. I am so pleased with this, just because of the lighting really. And that's where we start the real time video. We're at night time and you can see all of the different ambient lighting left and right of the path using some flames. Some of the lights I've had to sunk in, sink into the floor just to make them a bit more realistic so we don't have big modern lights. And I just think the waterfall just really complements the blue lights on the left. They're almost like mushrooms. I've never ever used those lights before. And then in the daytime, it all looks brilliant, but I really do think that it shines at nighttime. That's why the thumbnail for this video is at nighttime. I never really have dark shots as thumbnails um, yet, but for this one, I just had to. Um, I've used some of the pillars from the vintage pack. They've certainly helped me um, for the gates of Valhalla. And I think it's just a real mood in this area, just because you're walking over this um, long ship, which they sent off and burnt as when you died to see if you go to Valhalla. You enter this really nice area and it's almost really beautiful, a beautiful area to join in with 
I don't think I'm going to put any benches here and so I don't want to ruin any of the uh, walkway I just want it to be a nice flow all the way through and then also I've added some effects such as the new glowing drops that we got in the DLCs and also I've added some mist just at the bottom of the gates there uh, it was really nice adding all of the lighting as I say just adding on so it all reflects on the gates of Valhalla and I'm just mesmerized really by this lighting I'm really proud of myself for this one and uh, Oh, well, I'm so pleased that I've built it and made a little episode for you. So this was definitely more real-time videos than uh, time-lapse in this one because I really wanted to show you people uh, bustling down the path. I think it looks really good with all of the foliage and all the reflections of the rocks and the water and all of the gold. Um, so now we're in plip cam perspective and I thought it'd be nice to have a look how uh, imposing these statues are. I mean, just look how large they are. Um, you can barely see their face when you're walking up the steps. And the Thor's hammer just adds a bit more. I'm so happy that I didn't just be lazy and put a tree down there. And adding some of the lighting, which Thor himself had certainly in the movies, um, that just adds a really nice touch. Certainly I need to focus on more lighting like this in other areas of the park because it really does make it shine. So thank you for watching this video. That will wrap up this Gates of Valhalla and Thor's Hammer kind of video. If you have liked it, please do like it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.